Hi everybody, it's Kara, AKA the Principal Painter, and today I am coming at you with the Diamond Art Club first look. I apologize for the tardiness of this video. It got to me in the mail late and I have been under the weather, um, but I don't get out of bed sick for anything and this is a beauty. So we're going to the Painter Dining Room table so I can show it to you. Um, I think you're gonna love it. And I will see you at the Painter Dining Room table in a sec. Are at the painter dining room table you guys are gonna have to excuse my voice if it cracks a little bit like I said I've been under the weather Ugh, I'm probably going right back to bed after this video but I wanted to do this justice it is an absolutely beautiful image I have not seen it of course but I can't wait to see it with you this is celebration of spring by Eau Claire Studios this was a midweek release last week and it is absolutely gorgeous. It is a square diamond painting from the blue striping and the square emblem on the box, as you can see. Let's get it out of here, and I want to see this. This would have been an image had I not gotten it for a sneak peek. If I, if I hadn't have purchased it outright, I would have gone back a million times to look at it because it is, it is everything spring in a box, essentially. It really is. Okay. When you open up your kit, you do get a logbook sticker. You can peel this sticker off and put it in a logbook or do something else crafty with it. It has all the information on it about the diamond painting. Celebration of Spring, Eau Claire Studio, uh, the shape of the diamonds are square. The dimensions of this piece is a 65 by 88 centimeter. So it's big, but it's not like ginormous. So that's great. You also get a tool kit. Let's see what you get in your tool kit. There are similarities and differences in this tool kit that I will share with you once I get everything out. But it, oops, and I'm throwing stuff on the floor. Wouldn't be a Kara video if I did, did not do that. All right, okay, ooh, okay. Some fun stuff. First of all, in square kits and square kits only, you do get a pair of Diamond Art Club's branded pointy stabby tweezers. Keep that sheath on, do not poke your eyeball out. You do not get these in round kits. You do get a uh, beautiful roll of washi tape. This washi tape, the pattern on it will vary. So when you get a toolkit like this, uh, yours will probably differ from mine, but that is a beautiful pattern. Um, I love seeing the different patterns you get and you get a good bit of it. You can use washi tape to section off your canvas or put around the perimeter of your canvas so your arm doesn't get stuck in the glue. You get a pen and a squishy, oh, very appropriate color for this painting. Um, the squishy goes on your pen for diamond painting comfort. Nope, not gonna get it on there, not gonna struggle, but the color of your pen and squishy will vary from mine. Um, this is what you use to apply your diamonds to the canvas. I'm gonna put the squishy back in there. You get a bag of baggies for drill storage either before or after you diamond paint. You get a boat with a removable stopper. It's got a funnel to make uh, dumping your diamonds back into your containers uh, much more uh, easy. That goes in there. You get a container of Diamond Art Club's famous heart-shaped wax. There are two pads of it in this container. There's plastic on the top and the bottom of this wax. This is what you dip your pen into in order to pick up the diamonds to put them down on your canvas. There's plastic on the top and the bottom of these pads of wax. Peel that plastic back or you will get no wax in your pen and keep it in the container to keep it from drying out. You also get a cover minder. These, oh, I like this one. These cover minders differ, differ from uh, kit to kit. So um, I've collected a variety of these. I don't have one of these. This is a black sparkly shell. Um, cover minders, there is plastic on the top of this painting. When you peel that plastic back to expose the glue on the canvas, there are two magnets on the back of this cover minder. You take one of the magnets, slide it under the canvas. You take the pretty topper, uh, of your cover minder, the magnets magnetize together to hold that plastic back so, you, the, your, uh, so that your plastic isn't flippy flopping all around. And finally, you get two multi-placers in case you wanna place more than one diamond down at a time. In every kit, in every tool kit from Diamond Art Club, you get a four and a seven placer standard. So um, that is what you get. Everything you need to diamond paint are, is in, the, in these tool kits and they're very nice tool kits. But, we want to get into this, so let's get into this. All diamond paintings that you get from Diamond Art Club come in a nice branded dust bag uh, to keep gunk off of your canvas. A lot of people like to restore their canvases in these dust bags. They're very, very nice. These canvases are very buttery on the back. Marlon's heard that a million times. <laughs> 
and they are poured glue. Um, these canvases are made out of a material called tarpaulin, uh, but the material used on the canvas uh, to make it sticky is poured glue. That means you can roll these canvases back uh, to help them flatten out. Like I said, they're made out of a material called tarpaulin. They are self-flattening, so you don't have to do this. I do this every time in the name of time to uh, help you be able to see the whole image without it curling up a little bit. But I roll it back and zhuzh, zhuzh, zhuzh. Let this hang out for a second while I show you what else comes. You do get an information pamphlet with a thank you from Angie, the founder of Diamond Art Club. All kinds of information in this pamphlet, uh, QR codes to take you to videos, to tutorials, and the VIP Facebook group instructions, what's included. There's also a coupon code here, as you see, thank you 10 for 10% off. Um, if you join the VIP Facebook group when you make your first purchase, um, you, there is a coupon code in that group, but um, you can only get the coupon code if you're in the group. So make sure you join that group. There's lots of good information there. Um, also, if it is your first time purchasing from Diamond Art Club, I am an affiliate with Diamond Art Club. You can use my code PAINTER15 for a first time purchase from Diamond Art Club to get 15% off your purchase. Don't feel like you have to do that. There are coupon codes everywhere. Do what saves you the most money. On the back are two, R, two QR codes to take you to the Diamond Art Club app, and you can save 20% off your first purchase uh, with the app, uh, whether you are a new or existing customer. So that's a good information pamphlet to have. You also, ooh, we're on two sticker sheets, guys. That's colorful. Okay. Look at this bigger image. It is a watercolor image. What got me on this one was when Diamond Art Club put this up on Facebook and Instagram, the rendering on this, I will tell you, is as good or better than the original art piece. It is unbelievable. The way they did this girl's face, it's perfection. This rendering, I cannot get over. It's amazing. Um, and just again, like I said, it's spring in a box. You've got this beautiful girl with flowers in her hair, surrounded by flowers. You have a beautiful building in the back of her. I'm not sure what that building is, but it's beautiful. She's holding a basket of flowers and she's got a bunny in the basket. Oh, I cannot wait for you to see this image. We have, are you ready, 74 colors. This entire thing is a sticker sheet. These are individual stickers that you can peel off and put on your containers when you're kidding up. The first column, in pink tells you how many colors you're going to have. That's how I know I have 74 colors. The center column on these stickers are your symbols. That's what you're gonna to use to match these drills up with to lay down on your canvas. And the third column are your DMC codes or your DMC numbers. Any DMC number on a Diamond Art Club canvas under the number 150 is going to be an AB drill. We have two AB drills in this kit. We've got 128, which appears to be a pink, and 141, that really popular white AB. I will share with you what an AB is when we go through the drills. However, if you come all the way down to the bottom of this, uh, of this sticker sheet, you have, well, you have Ecru. I've learned a while back that Ecru is just a color. Um, it is a, an actual color code in DMC floss because DMC numbers are, uh, they've, they've used the DMC numbers from floss or cross stitching if you're familiar with cross stitching. So Ecru is Ecru, it's an undyed floss, so it's more of a cream color. Um, but below the ECRU are three Z codes. Any codes at the end of your uh, number list on a, a Diamond Art Club kit with a letter in front of the number indicates a special drill. And we have three Z codes, which indicates fairy dust. So we have three fairy dust drills in this kit. We got Z159, which appears to be a purpley blue. We've got Z743, which appears to be a golden yellow and Z... 3363, which is a green. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be beautiful. 74 colors in this thing. All right, let's take a look. Are you ready? Look at this rendering. It is amazing. I don't know why I ever doubt DAC. It is beautiful. Up, okay. It is absolutely beautiful. Can I pull it down so they can see her face? Like down here. Look how they've rendered. Her face is absolutely, even before you put drills down, it is perfection. I, I just, oh my gosh. I, I loved this rendering. 
uh, when I saw it on the site. If you don't believe me, go to the site and look at it. I'm telling you, it's gorgeous. This, this one is still available on the DAC site. I just love it. It's spring in a box, seriously. Um, you, I mean, the bunny in the basket, everything is rendered absolutely beautifully. And like I said, it's a watercolor look to me. Um, it is beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Her dress has flowers on it. I mean, it's just, it's a flouncy dress, flowers, bunnies. I mean, it screams spring. It is so, so beautiful. Love her hair, the way it's flowing. I'm just super, super excited about doing this one and um, seeing how it turns out. I think it's gonna be beautiful. Okay, let me take you on a little bit of a tour of this canvas. I'm gonna slide this back down. At the top, you got your branding, Do What Makes You Sparkle Diamond Art Club. On the sides, upper left, lower right, are your schematics or your keys. They're gonna tell you the same thing that the sticker sheet tells you, 74 colors, where to put the drills, that uh, and the like. At the bottom, in the bottom left, you have a thumbnail of your image. You have got Celebration of Spring. You have the dimension, 65 by 88 centimeters. You have Auclair Studio. Auclair Studio is legally licensed through Diamond Art Club, as are all of their artists, which should be important to us. We need to do right by artists. That means the artist has given permission for their work to be used and is being fairly compensated. The center of the bottom of the canvas has their social media information, Facebook, Instagram. Make sure you tag them and use the hashtag Diamond Art Club. Uh, when you're working on canvases, they love to see your progress. And in the bottom right, you have a 100% lifetime warranty. Essentially, if anything goes wrong with this canvas or drills, Diamond Art Club will make it right. Oh my gosh. Do you see now why I got out of bed uh, after feeling bad to show this to you? It is gorgeous. I am uh, I'm beyond thrilled with this. Like I said, when I saw this rendering, I was so excited. So beautiful. And it's, again, still available on uh, the Diamond Art Club site. I just, I did not want this one to get forgotten because I just think it's a beauty. All right, I'm gonna flip her over and show you the colors. Are you ready for a candy store in a bag? That's what we got here, so, all right. Let me flip her over and we will um, unbag the drills. Uh, another thing Diamond Art Club does, which is very nice, is they label their drills with the title of the painting in case you store your drills separately from the painting. You can have a happy reunion when you're ready to diamond paint. Excuse the crinkling. You know the drill. Okay. Here we go. And I did not bring scissors, but we're not going to stop. I will just uh, keep them to the side. All right. Look at these colors oh my god 3371 big bags of these pinks 603 two bags oh i'm loving these colors it's speaking my language 498 739 898 of brown 720 oh i'm so happy i'm such a happy girl this is making me feel so much better 3350 oh Gorgeous. All right, here is our first fairy dust, Z159. Okay, you can really, I'm going to get them up close. Fairy dust. Fairy dust drills are a special drill that Diamond Art Club has started including in their kits. They're always improving to make our diamond painting experience better. Fairy dust drills. It looks to be a fine mica powder or a fine, fine misting of glitter on the tops of these drills. The uh, glitter or mica powder is encased inside the drill and the mica powder or glitter is the same color as the drill, which gives you a more subtle shine, but it is no doubt beautiful. And you can really see it on these drills. I'm really happy some of them showed their little faces. Fairy dust drills tend to be shy. 300. 160. Here's Ecru. Ecru is not a special drill. Um, when I first came across Ecru and one I was unboxing, people were just like, nope, it's not a special drill. It's just a, what DMC named undyed floss. So that's where they got Ecru. And as you can see, it's a cream color. 738, 310, one bag of 310. 223, 819, 437, and 605. All right, and I'm gonna take it back where my fairy dust is. 
Put that to the side. Next train to Georgia. Oh my gosh, these colors, guys. 605, 900, 435, 741, and 740. Look at these colors. 152 bags of it. 775, 815, 3857, two bags of it. You gotta have some brown for the bark in the trees, right? 162, two bags of it. Is this not screaming spring? 742. All right, we're twisting and turning here. 3778, 934, dark, dark green, 400, 355. All right, here's your next fairy dust drill, Z743. Again, a fine mica powder on the top of those yellow drills. That's going to be beautiful. And 500. All right, let me see if I can tear this. You know what? I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to put it down and we will go from there. All right. Next train to Georgia, 938. All right, ding, ding, ding. Ring your first AB bell, 141. Kara, what is an AB drill? AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It is a special coating put on the tops of these drills that capture facets of light and color from the environment and the drills around them and just make them all together now. Shim, shim, shimmy, shimmer. Just a little bit more. And that's a very popular DAC color. That's beautiful. It's white and it captures all of the colors around it. So that's going to be beautiful. 3807, 3808, 3364, 209. Peach, look at this peach. 3341, 758, 744, 3830, 792, 210, 352. God, these peaches are beautiful. 3824. 451 and 415. Oh my goodness. All right, let me find my 141. Here we go. All right. I have to, or to organize my life. You know this, right? 37, uh, 37, 12, 158, 38, 47. We're into um, smaller bags now, 754. Uh, Diamond Art Club does um, arrange these by weight. Some people have said, oh, they're not in numerical order. They're not, they, uh, D Diamond Art Club does do these uh, bags of drills by weight, just for your information. 754, 37, 66, 807, 3809. Oh my gosh, 311, 413, 37, 76, 38, 10. 3787, 356, 407. Sorry, it's taking a little bit because we got 74 colors to go through. 436, look at that blue. 3843, 3777, 350, 817, and 402. Oh, so pretty. Last train to Georgia. Thanks for sticking with me. 604, is the pink in this not going to be amazing? All right, ding, ding, ding. Here's your next AB, 128. It's a beautiful pink AB sitting right beside another fairy dust drill. That's a green fairy dust. So uh, different types of shine on ABs versus fairy dust. One is more overt and one is more subtle, but they are both just beautiful. Then we got 3756 and we are bringing up the rear with 315. So let me put these down. I'm gonna flip this back over and show you where these drills go. All right, our first drill is 128. Conveniently, I'm gonna stand up because this is a long one, so I wanna make sure I show it to you. Our, your first uh, AB that you're gonna be looking at is 128. It's that beautiful pink. It is the symbol one. One is going to be sprinkled throughout her dress. It's in the flowers, 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 flowers. Flowers up here, flowers in her hair, uh, more in her dress up here, some in these flowers up here. There, you got like, you know, you've got a big bag of it, so um, there's a lot. Um, there's some in the flowers in the basket. So wherever there's pink, you're going to have it highlighting the pink. I don't see any in the bunny. Okay, so wherever there's flowers around her, in her hair, or in the basket, you're gonna have some pink highlighting that. Your next AB is gonna be 141, this white. Uh, like I said, it's a very popular color. It is, that symbol is a white background with a black dot. It's in her dress, highlighting some areas in her dress. 
It's highlighting these flowers, flowers, highlighting the building in the background, some on the ground in front of the building in the background, highlighting the flowers in her hair. It's highlighting her hair itself. Oh my gosh, that's going to be so pretty. A little bit, yeah. Um, let's see. It's highlighting the bunny, the bunny's ears and the side of the bunny's face, little flowers in the basket, it's there, and a little bit more on her dress. So those are your two ABs. Oh my gosh, this is going to be gorgeous. Okay, first, uh, your first fairy dust is Z159. Grab it, here it is. It's this beautiful lavender color. It's gorgeous. All right, that particular fairy dust, it's a rectangle with a line through it. So, and it's lavender, so I'm looking. I'm looking in the flowers. I'm looking, looking, looking. I hope it doesn't elude me. Okay, I see it up here in the tree. It's highlighting in the tree up here, all in here. Um, is there, there's some in her dress. Highlighting in her dress. Her dress is going to get a lot of AB and fairy dust love. It's on the sleeve of her dress. Is it in the building anywhere? I don't. Yes, it's in the building, in the top of the building. Okay, that's awesome. And it's also in this tree over here. And here, and none down here that I see. Okay, so that's where that one's going to go. Your next one is your yellow fairy dust. It's an up carrot. It's this one. Again, there's a lot of it. Up carrot. Okay, this basket is going to get a lot of fairy dust love with that yellow. It's all in this basket. All in this basket. There's some in the flowers, highlighting the flowers in the background of these flowers. That I cannot tell you enough how this is going to be just absolutely gorgeous. There's some of the flowers in her hair, um, but a lot in this basket. And there's some in the background here. Okay, and your last fairy dust is that beautiful green. It's a very light, light green um, Z3363. It's that one. That one is an hourglass. I call it an hourglass. It's in the greenery here. Greenery here, greenery on the ground, greenery over here. There's none of the flowers on her head, but she's got plenty in there. Um, let's see, that may be, oh, greenery in here. So it appears to be highlighting the greenery in the background, which again is gonna add that depth to this piece. Okay. Do you see why I was so excited to show this to you today, guys? This one's still available. I would go look at it. I really would. Um, I think this is kind of a sleeper piece that might have snuck by some people, but I love this so, so much. Um, I want to thank Diamond Art Club for sending this out to me. And um, if you're looking for a beautiful, bright, fun spring piece, this is your girl. I'm telling you. All right, guys, thanks for sticking with me um, and putting up with my crazy voice as I'm trying to get over whatever I've got, but uh, I'll leave you with this. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. This is The Principal Painter, and I am signing off.